When developing your game, you've probably tried making an elevator or a moving platform, only to find that the animations are weird and stuttery. Maybe your player keeps bouncing off of it over and over again. The rotations don't apply to your player, or maybe your player doesn't stick to it at all. Well, there is a quick, easy, and very robust solution to this with parenting. Welcome, my name is Joe, and the first thing we need to do is create a script to parent our player to the platform. We're not going to need the start function or the update function, so let's get rid of them. We only need to reference the transform of the player and the parent object, so let's create a transform for each of those. And first, we're going to need an onTriggerInter function. And because we only want this affecting the player, let's put in an if other.tag equals player, or whatever your player is tagged as. Then we want to check if our player transform reference is null, and if it is, set it to other.transform. And then we need to set its parent to the parent object, so let's put in player.parent equals parent object. And then we want an onTrigger exit of the same thing, except we want to set the player.parent to null. This will set the player back to world space when they leave the platform. Now let's add a box collider to our platform, and set it to trigger, and have it fill up the area that we want the player to stick to the platform. And then let's attach our script and set the reference of the parent object to the platform. Now our player sticks perfectly on top of the platform even when it's doing some pretty complex moves, and the player maintains full control over their character. This also isn't just limited to platforms, it works on anything that is moving and you want to stick the player to it, like a boat or a car or a plane. But there are a few things that you should be aware of. You want to make sure the object that you're parenting the player to is a scale of 1 to avoid any weirdness that comes with uneven scales. And you want to make sure that the object that the player is parented to won't be destroyed, because it will destroy the player as well. This can be worked around by creating a new function that checks if the player reference is there, and see if the player's parent is this object, and then if it is, kick him out and then destroy the object. And now the player character is safe. And that's about it. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving me a like, it really helps me out. If uh, you want to see more videos from me in the future, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll try and answer them. And I will see you in the next video. Later.